Howdy folks, Unregulated Mustache here. Howie Mendel folks, less attractive version of a Superwoman character's facial hair here. How it's made folks, facial hair growth that rivals a sloth here. It's that time of the year once again where Misaki is cluttering my inbox with all sorts of messages demanding that I make a video about sashimibuyer.com. Yeah, Sashimi Buyer is a great website where you can get all sorts of fish guts delivered straight to your- Oh, I'm sorry, that's not right. It's sakurabuyer.com. If you want great sakura merchandise and you want to impress your friends with your great knowledge of all things sakura- No, no, I think it's something like uh, Ching Chong, Chinatown, I'm a dumb Jap.com, something like that. It's almost been a year since my last Misaki unboxing video. And in that time, he has reached out to a bunch of other YouTubers, some big, some small. Uh, but one thing I've noticed in all the people he's reached out to is they've all made pretty uh, not great videos. Videos that really didn't, really, I mean, some of them were pretty good. You know, some of them were pretty good, but some of them were really bad, right? So, I'm here to uh, sort of rekindle the relationship with Misaki. I mean, I've stayed in contact with him. We'll kick things off right, and I'll do a little reenactment of one of our many conversations that we've had over the past year that uh, you guys haven't been privy to, but I think you'll like very, very much so. Now my coma penny look for American. Staff! Would be cool if you can announce it on the video. Looking for person who are in retested in anime contents. Not racist against Asian. Not racist against African. Good at social media marketing. I will mention it to the viewers. The viewers are very good and smart, with big brains. They watch me after all. <gasps> Maybe I make some form. Like Google Form. Maybe. You'll probably just get a bunch of spam on it though. Even we don't have this. We get sperm. Oh, yes, I understand. Many boys on the internet. A lot of sperm. Yes, I had too much last time. They always come to me from your Samurai Unboxing video. Oh, wow. Uh, do you like the sperm? Maybe a little bit? Sometimes they are too stubborn, but overall I enjoy them. Mostly sperm from USA. Sometimes Chinese one, Indian one, even Vietnam one. <sighs> I know you get a lot. Why? I hate sperm. I never let it touch me. Oh, it comes me all the time. Yeah, I, I hate sperm. Unless it's from cute girls with big butts. What the? Shit, I spelled wrongly. Spam! Oh, you meant spam. Yes, yes, shit. I thought you were talking about seminal fluids. Ha 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 ha. If you paid attention to that train wreck of a conversation, you may have noticed there was some talk about a Google Form. That's just some shit Misaki wants me to promote for Samurai Buyer. I'll put it in the description. Click it or don't. Send your sperm to him. I don't care. But Misaki's really been, really been getting at my fucking nerves this past year. You know, always chatting my ear off about dumb shit, wanting me to do things for him. And it's like, dude, you know, I really like it that, you know, you're so non-PC, and I really I really appreciate that. You know, there's a lot of non-PC Asians out there, okay? You're not unique, Masaki. You don't have a stranglehold over me. And to prove that, I've stolen his gay logo, and I put it on a sweatshirt, and uh, any proceeds from selling these sweatshirts or shirts will go directly to me and not Masaki. So fuck you, Masaki. Send your slant-eyed lawyers to come in. Write me a DMCA. I don't care. I don't care. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna bend over for you anymore. Fuck you. Okay, never mind. Let's get into this uh, unboxing here. We got a... <coughs> a box that's already halfway open because I wanted to unbox it back in uh, March, but I never got around to it. So we're back at it. Uh, to start this unboxing off right, we have a, some sort of hat. A Chosunoki Kusagori GG Kenshin Saramusuke. It's a Goku hat, which is really awesome because it'll hide my hair. I just hope that it fits on my head because my head is larger than the average Asian's. Whoa, holy shit. Does that look like a Goku? Ah, ah! Hey guys, Goku here. His power level is slowly raising based on the uh, data I'm getting from my power level app uh, that I got from the app store. <laughs> Alright, so he taped a couple of like Chinese nickels to outside of this box and it says 
Chinatown tax because in in my old video I had a moment where I was talking about tax and I was like Chinatown tax we got this cute little cat bank and we're just gonna put a little quarter right there this might feel a little blasphemous to some of you having the cute innocent Asian kitty bank pulling these awesome freedom coins into its little snatch but you know what that's what multiculturalism is all about. All right, next up is a tattoo, body tattoo, tattoo. Wow, I feel so tough. Don't fuck with me. I got tattoos all over my body. This means I can endure a lot of pain. Ugh. Yeah, don't fuck with me. I'm, I'm a drummer in a band. I, I go fast with my drumsticks. Hey, ladies, I'm really good with commitment because lo look how committed I had to be to get this full torso piece. Yeah, you gotta be a real tough guy to get want to get a tattoo. This next thing looks just like a, a night mask. You put it over your eyes and it looks like your Goku. Ah, uh, gotta say it's not particularly comfortable. I love power-ups. I love Majin Buu. Get back here Majin Buu. I will destroy you. I honestly don't know any of the quotes in that show because they just sounded fucking gay everything they said. This little fucking eyeball thing is stupid. Next up, we have a granny mask. It's me, Grandma Kasanoke. We've pretty much seen everything, but there's this one thing at the bottom, uh, which is actually just a, the whole thing. Wow, did I, did I ask him for this? Holy shit, guys, you know what's really cool about this Dragon Ball Z costume? Is I can be tough in the Saiyan world by wearing this costume, and I can be tough in the human world by wearing, by having these tattoos. A little bow tie. Is that what a saying does? I think it's I didn't realize I was going to go full costume. I should, I wish I had more prepared for this. I didn't realize he was going to send me such a good costume. Well, thank you, Masaki. I, I'm actually quite impressed that, uh, you know, some of this is, is usable for props and, uh, you know, a cute little bank is, it'd be a nice gift for someone. That is going to do it for this episode of Samurai Buyer Unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I'll keep you guys updated on the happenings between Masaki and I, if he decides to send his lawyers at me, or, uh, you know, if he just has some harsh words to be, uh, to, to throw my way. So, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to click that MF cunt button, and I'll see you guys later.